Hi everybody! Hello there and welcome to another vision, uh, another video of uh, little mini series CTS Racing. Um, what's today's job, the little lady? So we're going to be putting the brakes back on. Well, not back on. We're well, not changing. back on, but we're going to be changing the brakes. Changing the front brake pads. Well, show, <laughs> the, show the people what we use. So the ones that we use are performance friction. Um, <clears throat> so basically american brake pad um we use these with <laughs> we've used these with success for the last couple of seasons um so i'm just the old pads hang on hang on bex i'm just gonna flick it boop <laughs> so the old pads uh put the torch on there do have you know they've got a little bit of meat left on them but they've also been on there we didn't do much for the last last we only done one race last season so um so I just figured they've been in there a couple of years now. So I put fresh pads in, um, scuff the discs up, clean them up a little bit, and then uh, we'll keep them ones as spares for just in case for the future. But give you a quick rundown of the brake setup that we run on the car. So our brakes is uh, kind of give a bit of a giveaway there, isn't it? What make do you think they are, Bex? Um... What does that say? What do you think? I think his speckle. High spec. High speckle. Um, this, <clears throat> this is the. I think it was their monster kit. I think is what's printed on the back of them. Um, so it's it's a Ford monster kit. Ford calls with monster kit because, uh, contrary to popular belief, we actually run a, a Ford five stud pattern for our wheels. Um, TVR Griffiths and Shamevas and things. Obviously, four stud normally. We went to five stud purely for the the. Um, the reason that when we used to race the MG with the nice big wide wheels on and a four stud setup, we used to get the wheels cracking. Um, just sort of, if you imagine, uh, around there, just just we they used to crack and we used to have to replace wheel centers. So um, the, the the kind of thought behind it being, if we run five stud, spreads the load a little bit, and touch wood, we've never had any issues. So I've said it now, haven't I? <laughs> but um, but yeah, at the time we ran a Ford setup believing that uh, you know wheels would be 10 a penny and things like that and then found out not long later that the tvr five stud is actually the same as a nissan five stud who'd have thought eh? but anyway enough about that so yeah the the our discs i think the 345 mil by 32 discs um mm. all right um <laughs> four pot caliper um and it's it's basically it's kind of an ap copy really so so pads are dead easily to get and um, that they're just kind of an ap pattern pad um and and yeah the rear brakes which i'll show you excuse the mess um i'm not changing the pads today because it doesn't our bias is mainly to the front so but it's it's a box totally box standard rear setup obviously it's the again the five stood obviously but it's just a you know the, the discs are just normal um, TVR five, TVR size, should I say, five stud. Um, just the, the standard Ford caliper on the rear. Um, all we've done is we moved on. All we've done is uh, it doesn't run a handrail this car, so it's uh, although the handrail mechanism still there, obviously there's no no cables and things like that. Um, at the moment, it's Ferrero DS three thousands on the rear on the pads. There's still plenty of meat left on those, so we'll do Silverstone on those and then change them after Silverstone. Just um, so that I've got a little bit of braking while it beds the fronts in. The, the rears kind of should be should be okay. Um, no lips on the disc or anything. So, so yeah. So that's the rear setup. So, um, so with the brakes explained. Obviously, if you have any more questions or if there's anything that I haven't gone over for you and you you'd like to know a little bit more, just comment and uh, I'll do my best to answer all of your comments. But uh, but yeah. So now let's uh, let's get started. So. Little lady to death stack now, Bex, so you'll just have to do it with your fingers. Um, so this one set up nice and easy. It's basically two bolts in the back. If you take hang on, Becky, Becky, mine. Pull out and then just wind it with your fingers there. Yeah, other way. That's it. So it's basically take these these two bars out that are in by the bolts, and then uh, you can get the pads out. We'll push the, the pistons back. Um and then uh, get the new pads in but little lady hang on need that in there little lady's there uh, obviously she's a cracking help I, I love it that she wants to learn as well so i've cracked them off by the way they're not that slack normally <laughs> but 
but it's uh, it's brilliant that she wants to learn so while she's wanting to learn a nice little would you say a treat after school is this a treat after school for yeah. you yeah it is mega i didn't even know we were doing it i was just really excited to come to granny's and then i'm i'm liking the videos just to let you know good <laughs> so pull that ball out that's it and then pull the next one out it's on. all oily well that's what you can wash your hands for after you need to turn it a bit more all right let's and then it's literally as easy as push up. Possible. He says, he says it's dead easy as it doesn't come out straight away. And then pull the pad out. There we go. Ta -da! So, comparison to a new pad, not really much difference in them at all. In fact, the old ones are still brand new pretty much. But like I say, they have been in for, for a little while. So we'll definitely keep them ones as spares. But we'll run them now. Yeah, we'll do this one. And put, then put the we'll two. Put it in. Yeah, but and yeah. well, uh, so we'll get the pads, the, the pistons pushed back, and then uh, get the new pads greased up, and then we'll we'll get them in. Yeah. Aye, aye, matey. So that's the pistons um, pushed now on all the way back. So now all that's left to do, little lady, grease. So we'll just put a little bit of slobber job on the back of them. Aluminium grease we use. So just, yeah. So get one pad. Right, so remember how the old ones come so out? That one. that one comes in the one nearest you, yeah, like that. So pop it in, give it a wiggle about if you might need it, and then it'll slide in. <laughs> yep. It's tricky. Yeah. Just to let you know it's really tricky. It's not. Just you didn't quite have it in. So then that one, it's no metal. Spin it 180 degrees. Like that. So the metal, if you imagine, that's the bit, that's your breaker material. Sorry, you I'm watch, it. watch. That's your breaker material. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that has to touch the brake disc. Yeah. And then the metal button plate, put it in square. The metal button plate is for the pistons to push against. Yeah. Voila. So then we'll get... Hands are really dirty. <laughs> you want to give them a quick wipe? We'll just wipe down the pad there. Get the silver grease off all of that. If you do this, your hands will get really dirty. Really dirty, will they? Well, if you're using this and it gets on your hands, it'll be like a silvery colour. Oh, that's there. So... We'll clean them up. Wonderful. So I've just noticed there's been a stone or something got in... Where we're at? In here. So, I don't know. Come on, camera zoom in. Oh, that's it. So you can just notice it's got a little bit of a lip there. So we're just going to give them a quick clean up, a quick rub and clean up. And when we better flick our fingers, just like that, with a flick of the fingers, they'll all put you put them down all, right, all nice and smooth. Just give the edges a quick, a quick file. Just this one mainly where you can see. Um, so I just got it all nice and smooth again. And obviously, you know, the most important bit, coffee. Coffee, drink, boring. Mm. Wait till you get older, you live on the stuff like everyone else does. <laughs> right, so what we need to do now is the bolt. So you hold the bolt there. Wait, can I do You it? hold the bolt. Just it? hold the bolt. Thank you. Can I do the next one? Mm -hmm. So I just put a little, because you only put it on the shoulder of the bolt, mm -hmm. because that's the bit where we need it to, so that it doesn't stick into that. So, yes. what we'll do, no, what are you doing? I want to do it. Yeah, put that, so, in. in, so see, you've got the square edge, so the square edge goes, lines up into them two holes, and then yeah. put the board through, go on. I can't see. There, go on, you've got the hole there, that's it, push it straight, double go straight, perfect, right, and then just. And then just wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I voilà. Thing? Then it's got it. So no, we'll put the other bolt in first. So get your bolt. Can you hold it for me? I'll hold it just just on the shoulder. Remember. You no, not the threads. Just the shoulder. That's it. That'll do. Put it back in. So, got your bolt. Got it. There's your other bit. Um. Boom, boom. You've just had all of it. It's there. There. So, 
flat edge, no other way around. So flat edge down. Uh, that's it. Can you manage? You've got to put it in square. Really? You're trying to that it. So you've got to go in. Always got to go in square with these. Sorry, viewers. I know you just got a, a nice close up of the wing there. <laughs> that's it and then give it a first couple of winds so like winding it down other way other way and then i give it a pull on it does it come back out has it got a hold i think it's got a hold that's it so now all it's left to do tighten that up and i'll give it a nip up and then drive aside done done and dusted Just do it, that'll do for you, and then put the hole that on the other one. So remember to put the socket on square. You manage. Sorry, peeps. There you are. Oh, 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 oh. It's come and starting to come out. When it starts to come out, that's when you need to stop because you don't want to round these off. So I'll just give it a quick nip now. You wanna... <coughs> Cause I don't want these bits coming loose, do we? No. What happens do you think if it's coming loose when I'm racing? The car crash? Probably because the brake pads might come out, might they? And then I'll have no brakes. I'll hit the brakes. I'll go to stop. Hit the stop pedal. And then it'll crash. And it'll just not stop. Well, I hopefully it wouldn't crash, but you never know. Voila. One side done. Boom. So now we're on the passenger side. I think it's not going to work with the ratchet down. You're going to have to do it by hand now. And she's already. Look at this, man. <laughs> Got the nut of it now, haven't you? It's one key go on. Just right. Yeah, just you can just do it until it totally comes out. Is this the right oh yeah? yeah. There we go. So all done and dusted. So we'll just push that pad out. Hang on. Don't you put your fingers in there just in case they get knocked or trapped or something. Right, we'll get these uh pads out, shall we? Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Oh, this is what part of race prep is, look. So see that bolt at the back on the wishbone? Watch. Oh, look at that bolt at the back. See it? Yeah, that. That's come loose. We've done it. So we haven't done our proper race prep yet, but... That's... See how my finger's going up and then down. Yeah, that's well, that's... that thing going up and down. Mm-hmm. That's not good, is it? Nope. And then... We need to put some new ones in here, and then we'll do the rest. Yeah. And then we'll be gone. Yep, happy days, eh? Nearly done, peeps. Just this one, and then I'm done. Well, we're done, I mean. Give it in straight, remember. You're going in cockeyed. Because you'll you, not hang on. Just relax. You'll, you'll knock the bolt head. Hang on. Hold on to the back of that as well. That's it. Sorry if my hand's in the way, guys. Why don't you just do it tight to you? What you manage and I'll nip it up. I think that's good. You're going to hold that while I nip it up? Yeah, I will do. <laughs> there you go. Oh, then I can see. That's gone all fuzzy. Sorry. Um. Not too there you go, peeps. So it's like on the back. So I'll Ooh. put it. Right, come back out. Voila. So, as far Ooh. as the brakes is concerned. Do we only need to do the back ones? <laughs> I'm not doing nothing with the back ones, I'm just oh. leaving them. Didn't need to clean the discs up in the end because when I had a quick inspection of the grooves and everything, they're, they're actually fine. You can see there's there's no real build up in there. But to be fair, they've only done sort of an hour. So the first uh, new tyres on that, I'll get rid of them with the first turn of the wheel. So 
Next job on the list will be a spanner check. So we'll obviously get we that done. done. This, it's, it looks like it's all chewed up. Oh, it's just the way it is. It's just the brake ducting. Yeah. So that's fine. That just stays there. So yeah, so the spanner check, which um, obviously will get things huh, like that little issue there sorted. So need to work out. That one always seems to come loose, need to work out a better way I of fastening that one. I can't even push it because you're stronger than me. Yeah, I'm older than one now. But, uh, but yes, people, so... Don't forget like and subscribe. What was that? Don't forget like and subscribe. One more share, time. Share and enjoy. One more time. One more Don't time. forget like and subscribe, share and enjoy. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching, people. Hope you've enjoyed our videos. Hope you're still oh, enjoying cool. them. As uh, as Bex here says, please like, please share, please subscribe. We are trying please, to make please, it. Please, um, please, pretty please subscribe. We are trying to make their video, the, the channel, into something quite good. Um, and as time's ticking on, two and a half weeks, people, two and a half weeks until we get Silverstone, the fifteenth or sixteenth of April, or whatever the Saturday and Sunday is. Nice. Um, nice. Racing in the Bernie's V8. Can't wait. Um, I've actually ordered some tyres, bit the bullet, they should be with us this week. So we'll do a little video showing you the new tyres, the difference between the new and the old ones. But uh, but yeah. I hope you enjoyed all of our vid videos so far. So don't forget, like, subscribe, share and enjoy because that's what you've done so far. Thanks guys. Bye. And it's a bye from me. See you later.